Hey, what's up everybody? It's Nick from Powtoon and today we're going to have a little bit of studio time. I'm here in the Powtoon workspace, as you can see, and uh, I'm just going to click on here, build your branded character. I don't know if you guys know about Powtoon's new character builder. Uh, it's super powerful, super easy to use, still in beta, we're still improving it, um, but it is really, really fun. I'm just going to go through the the character builder wizard here, you guys can see exactly how easy, how fun it is to customize your character exactly how you want it. So let's take a look. So I'm going to use uh, a gentleman. We're going to have more stuff coming soon, like I said. <clears throat> Starts you off with some presets, right? Just so that you can get going. There's a body shape, there's some skin tone, things like that, just to get you started. Things that are more representational, less literal, more like a, some sort of a generic character with not, you know, unreal skin tones and things like that, or more realistic characters, right, that look more like real people. Uh, for the sake of today, let's take this guy as our starting point, and then we move on to the face. So much fun stuff here. You can just click through and take a look at what these different face shapes look like. This is also where you might change the skin tone if you like. Uh, so we can make this a little, we can make it green, or we could make it, you know, dark gray, we can make it something a little more realistic, or we could just choose any old color by hex code, or dragging this sucker around. You know what, I feel like, I feel like making kind of a Simpsons yellow. How about, what do we think about that, like a Simpsons yellow? There we go. And again, yeah, just clicking through the different face shapes. I kind of like this one here. Uh, hair, let's talk hair. Great, different options, a fade, something kind of hip, look at that, man bun, jerry curl. That's kind of like my hair a little bit. Actually, yeah, it's okay, so let's do that. Let's do my hair. And uh, I mean, the Simpsons would also have, maybe I'd have blue hair like Marge, right? So let's, yeah, I'll have blue hair like Marge. There we go. Uh, all right, yeah, I think we're gonna stick with that. Let's take a look at the eyes. Now, uh, in this represent representational character, it doesn't have eyes, right? Uh, but I do wanna have eyes. We have something that's simple like that and kind of cartoony or something that's a little more realistic. And eye color, my eyes are green. Is that green? Is that green? Kind of bluish, let's do blue. Maybe blue to match the hair. How about that? There we go. There's the eyes and brows. Brows or no brows? Brows or no brows? Brows, no brows. Brows, no brows. I'm going with these. Nose. Again, the representational character that I chose didn't really have a nose. But this is, and this is really where, if you're trying to kind of spoof somebody, like make a character that looks like a real person, the nose and the face shape, the eyes and the uh, eyebrows are really where you can make a lot of those definitions, right? You know, like this guy and this guy are different guys, you know? And if you saw someone with a nose like that, or you saw someone with a nose like that, you wouldn't mistake them. Uh, it's something that's very distinct. So we've got a lot of different options here. I'm gonna go with, I mean, I got a pretty big schnoz. Let's go with that one. Okay, uh, mouth. This is where maybe you want the beard, maybe you want some facial hair, maybe you don't, maybe you want one of these, maybe you want one of those. I think we're gonna stick with the goatee. It's time to pick the outfit. Here's where the real fun begins. First of all, uh, we've got a few, you can start with your tops, move to your bottom footwear and accessories, and there's a couple of different layers here. So let's just take them all off just to see what you, what he looks like here in all layer. Okay, so obviously he's decent for dressing. Uh, and what if we had this shirt? And you know what's so cool? First of all, I can change these three main colors, right? So the design of the shirt will stay the same, but I can change these colors around. And then anything that's got this three dots here, that's, that is, this is something special. You can upload your logo. Uh, let's see what I've got here. I don't know what I've got in here, but I'm going to look for, I don't know, some kind of PNG. Why don't I just look for the word logo and see what I find. Mm, here are a bunch of logos. Bum, bum. Let's do Foot Locker. Foot Locker is a great company. They're using Powtoon to uh, create training 
content internally. Let's save that logo. Now, I've got it on that shirt, but if I choose any other of these shirts that has the logo, it's automatically uploaded. Let's get rid of the base layer. Let's put him, there we go. It's a, doc, it's a Foot Locker doctor. <laughs> okay, I'll take it, why not? Uh, and you know we can change the pants, in shorts. He's a very informal doctor. Uh, you know, maybe he needs to bring a firearm to work. I don't know. Uh, you know, capris, space pants. But we're going to stick with something nice and simple here. And you know what? Let's just change the color to kind of like scrub blue. How do we like that? Or you know what else you can do? Uh, you can enter an ex a specific hex code. If we go back to the top, sorry, I just want to double check. What is the hex code on the top shirt? 5F9, DF9, 5F9, DF9. Watch how easy this is. Boom. 5F9, DF9, and now they match. Uh, footwear, better have them in something protective there, and accessories, well, Probably wear one of those and look, our logo, our logo remains. Isn't that fun? Uh, you know, maybe he's a really cool doctor. Maybe he's nope, he's a safe doctor. Yep, maybe like that. And of course, don't forget to mask up, ladies and gentlemen, and you can play around with the color of the masks as well. Let's finish our character. It'll show you here exactly what he looks like. Let's call him Dr. Foot Locker. Save. Boom, and your character is saved. You can edit it in the studio. Let's go ahead and do that. It will just take a moment. Oh, look, it's our uh, studio's already loaded up. Here's my character. I can put him in all of the different poses, hello, or happy, or laughing, or maybe he's explaining something. He's just standing around. Maybe he's got a take a run somewhere, maybe he's got to hold something up, maybe he's kicking back and having a thought about uh, his medical practice, maybe he needs to text his patients and remind them about what's going on, maybe he doesn't know what to do with his time, maybe he's cleaning up the emergency room, maybe he's working on the walls, maybe he's stopping for a quick selfie just to let everybody know that he's still kicking and still working. I don't know, you guys, the possibilities are endless. You can exactly customize the character how you like it. You can upload your logo and you can make your brand specifically exactly what you want it to be. Nothing more powerful than that, ladies and gentlemen. And don't forget, if you needed to hire an animator to make this for you and put it in a video, we're talking about some serious scratch, ladies and gentlemen. But if you have a, a Powtoon agency account or Powtoon business, you have full access to every one of those features. So do check it out, try it out, see how you like it, use it in your videos. Uh, maybe even uh, put in a comment below, or take a screen grab, just take make a character and then take a quick burr, 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 screenshot of your character. Uh, and post it in the comments below or on LinkedIn. Okay, um, that's it for studio time today, ladies and gentlemen. Powtoon's new character builder. Try it, love it. Uh, I know that you will.